Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are going to take a quick look at Guerlain Holiday. So the Guerlain Holiday collection was available on the Guerlain website for I believe it was like 48 hours for like an early access and it was then taken down and it will be back and hopefully it'll make it into the department stores as well. But I did want to show you the gift box that they have currently right now. I usually go for the, um, what's it called? The environmentally conscious box, which by the way, I absolutely love that one, but I had to order on the phone. So this is what they ended up giving me. And I have to say, I love this box. It's going to be great for packaging other presents in for the season. And you can see it just clips in here and this is heavyweight cardboard. So this is how everything came packaged. These are the little samples and so forth. Now I didn't pick up everything from this holiday collection. You can see what is included in the collection on the screen here. This eyeshadow palette, it just didn't really appeal to me. It kind of looks like a mashup of a couple of their other quads. And you know, I, it just wasn't one that I really wanted this holiday season. However, I did pick up some of the lip products and I actually already had one of the shades. So I will have three lipsticks to swatch for you here today. And of course I had to pick up the uh, lipstick cases. So on the screen here, I'm showing you an Instagram reel that I did with this collection when everything was brand new before I touched it. So you can see everything in pristine condition. You can see how gorgeous the etching is on the lipstick. And when you order from the Guerlain website, you can actually get your cases engraved on the mirror for free. So let's take a look at how everything comes packaged. So these are the cases. They do come with a little sticker on here to keep the case closed. If you're unfamiliar with the Guerlain Rouge G cases, in order to keep them closed, you insert your lipstick. You can see this little G logo here. This is gonna go on top of the case, keeping it closed. But as I mentioned, you can get yours engraved. You can see I got mine engraved and I got something generic. Uh, you know, you are limited with number of spaces used or characters. So I have Wish on a Star and Shine Bright for the actual stars on the case. I do wish they had come out with more cases just like this, but in additional shades. I think it would have been really pretty for the holidays. You know, I was talking to the associate on the phone, you know, red was when she mentioned she wished they had a red one. I think that would have been stunning. I'd love to see like a copper and a silver as well. So uh, the lipsticks, when you purchase the lipsticks, these actually come separate. You do have your color names down here at the bottom. So when they are clipped into the case, you can still see the names. And I have to say, Guerlain's gotten better about making their names darker. My older shades, it's really hard to read the names. It's very light on there, but this is much deeper. It's actually like black, so I can read it. So here is 08 Nude Alchemy. Now I have to say that the four lipstick shades, I have two satins and two mattes in this collection. And I don't believe any of them are new shades. I believe they are all shades that have been released in the past and at least some of them are in the permanent everyday collection. This one here is one of the matte velvets and this one is 777 Berry Alchemy. So I have to say this one surprised me because you can see how purple it looks here. It looks pretty purple, right? But it's actually much more of a shocking pink. And then the other one that I have is one from the permanent line. This is 880, the red, and it's one of the best reds in my opinion. So this is a matte, and then there's an additional satin shade. Uh, I believe it was number 38. Now another item that they have in this collection is a rose gold gel gloss, and I think this is so cool. So first of all, the case here, it has little stars on the top, it does come covered with a piece of foam, like securely like glued on the top. So if you don't have that foam, it's contaminated, send that back. But look how pretty this is. So I, in the lip swatches that I'm showing you right now, we went through the gel gloss on its own as well as on top of the other lip colors. So you can kind of see the light reflection you can get from this and it's, this really beautiful holographic rose gold. 
it's not going to give you a ton of pigmentation, but it's definitely going to catch and reflect the light. And again, if you're purchasing matte lipstick shades, this is a great way to turn them into something shinier. I really like this gel gloss. It is, it feels more like a lip balm, like, you know, some of those like lip balms you get in a squeeze tube that have a little bit more, uh, they're a little bit thinner consistency. That's what this is going to feel like on the lips. And I just think it's stunning. Now, one thing to note about the gloss, I used it on my lips. That's going to be the primary way that I use this. However, according to the box, it can be used on the face, eyes, and lips. It actually does not have a ton of ingredients in the actual lip gloss, and I don't see fragrance listed, and I don't smell anything. So just something to note there. I have to say I'm really, really happy with all of these shades and these products. This Nude Alchemy lipstick, that's the one I'm wearing today, that is definitely going to be a go-to shade for me. I think Guerlain does nudes so well, especially if you're looking for some that are a little bit cooler in tone. A lot of the major luxury brands like Chanel and so forth, their cooler nudes really aren't cool. They're really warm. <laughs> so Guerlain, they have a fantastic color range and they are the nudes that I typically gravitate towards. The Berry Alchemy shade I think is gorgeous. I thought it was going to be more of a purple berry. It looks definitely more purple in the bullet, but it's actually more of a pink, more of a crushed raspberry kind of shade with maybe a touch of a crushed blackberry in it. But you know, definitely a lot more pink than I expected, but I think it looks so nice on. I actually really do like the shade. And shades that are this deep and pigmented, I personally prefer in the matte finish. And yeah, so I have to say uh, that's a win as well. So overall, I'm very happy with everything I picked up from this collection. Let's move on to arm swatches. All right, so this is number eight, Nude Alchemy. And you can see this is a satin, formula you can see how you can get it with one sheer layer or you can build it up a bit and again this is what I currently have on my lips right now this is 777 berry alchemy and you can see again with one sheer layer here this longer one you can get it a little bit softer. It's gonna have more of that fuchsia look to it, definitely much more pink. There really isn't a ton of purple. This is really more of a fuchsia pink with a tiny bit of purple when you build it up. But with one sheer layer, you don't really see a ton of pink. And this is the 880. And again, this is available in the holiday collection. I think this is stunning. You can see it's gonna be your blue based red with some pink in there really beautiful. So those are the three of the four holiday lip shades I have. Let's take a look at this rose gold gel gloss. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. I seriously so happy about this. We're going to put this right down here at the bottom. Let's get a little bit more here. You can see the consistency of this. And we're just going to do a few comparisons. So this in here, this is the Guerlain shade 76. This was limited edition. This is like my favorite. And you can see how much more pink it is, but I did wanna share that with you because I think this is a slightly more nude, has a little bit of mauve in it uh, version of that. And this was one of those ones, it was from spring collection, I believe a couple years ago but it sold out quickly. It was one that everybody was trying to get. So we also have, this is Velvet Myth from Lisa Eldridge. I'm just gonna put this right down here at the bottom. You can see Velvet Myth is going to be deeper and slightly more purple, but they are going to be pretty similar. I also wanted to take a look at Skyscraper Rose. So I'm gonna put that one right here at the top. You can see that's gonna be much more pink. And then this is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. You can see, again, that's going to be a little bit more of a blue base. Now, if you want to see more comparisons for the 880, I do have some videos with that in there. And you can see that compared with some other reds. But it's going to be like your classic blue-based red, in my opinion. All right, and one more comparison just up here. This is Valde in Curiosity. And I really this is one of my go-to lip colors but you can see the Valde is going to be just a little bit more pink 
than the Guerlain, but they are going to be fairly similar in tone. If you haven't seen the Valde lipstick cases, they're pretty cool. They call this the armor. This is expensive. This part here is like 40 or 45. And yeah, they have a few different shades of this and you can get this engraved and so forth. This does twist here. There's a mirror at the top. It makes a really great holiday gift, but you know, this is definitely a splurge product. So I hope this was helpful. I have to say I absolutely love the colors that I picked up. I love the colors that they chose for the lipsticks in this collection in general. I think they are really gorgeous. And yeah, I think the stars on them, it's stunning. I really wanted to pick up the, the red one because I love that shade. And I think the star engraving looks so beautiful on that. But you know, I already have the shade. So uh, the gel gloss I think is fantastic. Just a fun little thing to kind of add a little bit of iridescence and a little bit of different color. And it's very comfortable on the lips. So overall, very happy with the items I picked up. However, I do wish that the Guerlain Holiday Collection had some meteorites. And I was really hoping, I didn't see any in the previews, but I was hoping there would be meteorites. I am now very, very hopeful that they are going to come out with Guerlain Meteorite blushes. I don't know if they are or not. It is something that I made a formal suggestion of. I spoke to somebody about this last year when they came out with those meteorites in the, the pink ones that work so well as a blush. So I'm really hoping that that is something that Violette at Guerlain is working on. I feel like that is definitely something she would do. So thank you so much for tuning in and definitely let Guerlain know that you would love to see meteorite blushes too. I think they would be stunning. So have a great day and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon.